Deck. I don't know who the mill deck matched up against in round one, uh, but she did just beat a pretty good player uh, playing Vader Raider last round. Um, so, you know, mill, one of the ways to deal with Poe is to get him to discard those vehicles before he can throw them at you. So, mill is it's supposed to be one of the ways you can help to deal with that deck. We'll see how it fares here. So we got things started off. Rolled in staff, obviously. Um, uh, hits a discard side. Wow. First play, um, first play planetary uprising on Peter's side, which is interesting. Particularly when facing a snap. Uh, I mean, you're not going to have the resources necessarily to do it this turn, so why? So I'm back, Travis. What did I miss? So you missed it. Not very much. Uh, Peter played out a planetary uprising, and then uh, we rolled snap in for a discard. Okay, so I, I see in the chat actually that somebody said they're most interested in seeing how well this performs. I agree with you. So, <clears throat> of the uh, the decks that I've been testing uh, personally with this new Spirit of Rebellion format, Hero Mill has been one of them, and I do believe that it's actually a sleeper uh, list just because it has the resilience to weather the storm of Poe Maz. Uh, I played against Amanda um, a month ago, actually, at the Spirit Rebellion pre-release tournament at Face-to-Face -face Games, some games of which you can see on our YouTube yeah. channel. Just, sorry, yeah. you're, you're gonna, I just wanted to point out as well, for that discard, he played Commando Raid for some additional card oh. discard. So, that's get actually some of that. Yeah, that's actually a, a card I don't play just because uh, in this list, Snap, uh, in this list, I think Snap is the one that usually dies early, so I don't like putting cards that rely on red characters sure. uh, to be still alive for you to use them. Uh, but yeah, Amanda is actually very skilled at piloting this list. Uh, I was playing a different version of the Hero Mail deck that ran two Maz dice instead of two Snap dice, and it was, wasn't until I played against Amanda that I realized that the Snap version is superior. Because uh, unlike my version, this is actually quite fast at milling the opponent. Sure. Uh, because Snap prevents uh, especially low money decks like Pomaz right. from claiming the battlefield early. And and that like, leaves Amanda to basically claim at her leisure. So yeah, so re-rolling here, Pito finally gets a special on Poe. Yep. He's got no more cards in his hand. So they were all stripped. Yeah, Commander yeah. Raid's huge play uh, by Amanda here, I think. And uh, Peter is no slouch with this deck. I played against him, I think, uh, on Tuesday. He was playing the same list. He was, he was testing it. Um, I think his version, uh, I believe, runs two Cunnings uh, to place on on Maz there. So uh, it basically decreases the variance of the rolls required to get that post special. Uh, and the other thing to note here is I think the Planetary Uprising was the only way that uh, now, now Peter did, could spend his credits okay. to avoid the disrupt. Yeah. So he wanted to get some value out of those now, resources. Now, did he before. claim there? Did he have a money to claim? Uh, no, he did not. I don't think so. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. I must have missed it. <laughs> So I think Amanda's off to a really good start because uh, usually a lot of Poe Maz decks, they deal uh, a huge amount of damage turn one. And Hit and Run's gone already. Thermal Detonator's gone uh, in the discard pile from, from Peter, which is uh, one of the huge area effect damage cards dodged. I think that's going to make Amanda's game a little bit easier. Of course, there's the Cunning that I talked about that's going to allow uh, Maz to fish for some of those Poe specials that this deck desperately needs. So, another discard side showing for Snap. Uh, if he has another Commander Raid, it's going to be gross. So, Snap is one of those dice where I actually don't really care if I... Even if I roll two blanks. But one blank doesn't really matter for me either, because yeah. there's no pressure to resolve that die, right? Uh, uh, disrupt in a uh, resource from Poe. Not okay. what he's hoping to roll, but that's what Maz is for. Here's a Con Artist. Getting an early Con Artist is huge, because it... It allows uh, Amanda to place that that increased pressure on 
on Peter's deck here. So, interesting here, spreading it out, so, you know, it's a little easier to take out uh, Maz, but he wants to spread out some of that discard, so even if Padme goes out, he yeah. doesn't lose a con artist as well. Yeah. So there's that special side from Cunning. Uh, of course, now through Maz's ability, Peter gets to resolve uh, two of his dice if he wants to. I think I saw a U-Wing hiding in Peter's hand, so that's probably going to be something he'll, he'll be looking to pitch here. Uh, as for the other side, I mean, there is one resource Amanda has that uh, Peter can disrupt here for the other resolution, but he might just want to keep it around for perhaps a reroll. I'm not sure if I saw any other uh, big cards in this. Yeah, I'm not sure that he... Oh, he does. I'm not sure that he's scared of the resources that Amanda can spend. I mean, there's things like Scout, obviously, in her hand that yep. she's happy to get in play. Well, I see and an ammo belt, the, uh, and I, do, I think I do see a second chance, right? So, uh, if you disrupt uh, Amanda's resources, I mean, that's one more resource away from playing that second chance. Right. Uh, a lot few, fewer second chances to blow through, so... Uh, now, now, what I've seen Peter do, actually, with the specials is that I've seen him, and this is why I'm wary about playing con artists against a deck with cunning, because they can, uh, they can trigger your con artists as well. So it looks like Peter resolved the scout, actually, which is uh, nope, reveal the hand. Play. Oh, it's not in play. Um, what is this, then, if he's resolving... Oh, he's resolving Maz's Goggles, my bad. So this is probably a Maz's Goggles res resolution on the Cunning. Uh, so Maz's Goggles allows your, uh, you to look at your opponent's hand and choose an event card from it and discard it. So Loth, Cat, and Mouse are good. Not too sure about Loth, Cat, and Mouse in a, in a Snap deck because generally they're going to want to remove Snap Dice first. So if you've already resolved one Snap Dice, it's, it becomes less appealing to play that card. Uh, but all in all, it's actually not that bad of a opening roll from I guess the con artist Peter. rolling. So yep. First special on the con artist. So that's one card. Of course, putting one damage on the con artist. Uh, further triggers of the con artist ability, whether by Peter's cunning or by Mana herself, will just be milling more and more cards from the deck. Takes that resource, so he'll be able to claim if he wants to. Yeah, so I think maybe Amanda would want to... I would maybe want to look to claim here, perhaps. Now, I do realize that, yeah. She does? Yeah. That's a smart move, because all Peter had was his two Maz dice, and by themselves, they can't really no. uh, throw anything at Amanda through I mean, post ability. Peter can take as many shields as he wants. Amanda does not care. Exactly. And, and that's another thing I really like about this po mill, uh, sorry, this hero mill deck, is uh, a lot of the decks that are doing really well, sometimes they run hot, sometimes they run cold. Uh, generally with a, uh, a hero mill deck like Amanda's, you really don't care what sides you roll, not really. Yeah. I mean, you like money, you like the mill side, but you have all these events, you have the battlefield, uh, you have all this disruption in your hands, so you don't really, it doesn't really matter what you roll, because you can always get some use out of it. And if if uh, Amanda is also playing C3PO, she just played a spy net there. Spy net is great. So spy net, when you roll a discard, you can exhaust the uh, mill card, right? Uh, card that's the right. Of yeah. So it, it doesn't require a separate action. It's just whenever you roll focus, even on a reroll. So Peter here rolling, uh, just like last turn, I think, another disrupt, another resource, and and again, this is what I'm talking about, right? Like with Amanda's deck, it doesn't really matter what you roll, but with Peter's deck, there's only a couple of sides that you you want to see. Yeah. So here's Maz rolling out. Of course, she gets to resolve two dice here. Uh, there's a there's a discard side, a focus side, so it's gonna probably gonna be. Oh, so he goes. She goes for the discard instead of focusing into the special. Which I guess is fine because, you know, you have a chance of stripping a really big card. Oh, no. Okay, so she's going to decide to do what I thought she was going to do, which is instead uh, mill two cards now because there's two damage on Con Artist. So that's more stuff. And that's, I believe, I forget the name of that card. It's like Tactical Something. It's an upgrade that uh, I talked to Peter about this and he, he says he really likes that card. He's a huge fan. Uh, it's whenever you, I believe, activate the character, you get to draw a card, and then put a card from your hand on the bottom of your deck. And Peter so, likes it because he and fishes going back for... a second and realizing that she rolled in, so just doing the triggers in uh, the orders that she wants, so yes. she can do this after she does the, the, the focus and the other thing, so. Yep. Spine net triggers, that's another card off the top of the deck. Yep. And that's uh, good on Peter for uh, allowing Amanda to take that back. Because... No, no, she didn't take it back. Oh, no. Because she can do those in any order she wants. Oh, I see, I see. So that reaction was still in the queue. 
Okay, so here's uh, Peter rolling a mask, looking for some focuses. There's a cunning special. There's actually some. Uh, there's a range damage side, but no resources. Get a resource from uh, Poe if you want. Yep. But again, I mean, we're on turn three, and there's not a lot of damage on any of Amanda's characters just no. yet. So uh, things are looking really good for Amanda here. So Peter might want to resolve uh, Maz's goggles again instead of throwing something. Uh, again, it's kind of hard to see what's in, in Peter's hand. I don't know if I see something worth throwing with Pope. And of course, knowing that fast hands off the top of the deck is another blow against uh, yeah. Pope. Absolutely. I, th I think that's another reason why uh, Peter hasn't had the explosive start. Didn't get that fast hands. Um, I jumped in later on in the game, so, so I don't know chooses, if he... chooses to use the disrupt to get rid of Amanda's last resource. You can see everyone, you'll see most of the players will have ice drinks at the table now with the air conditioning not working today. It's brutal here today. I, it's like uh, <laughs> 90, 95 degrees in here. Are you, are you saying that for the benefit of our American viewers? Well, American, Polish, actually Polish is metric, so that's okay. Yeah. UK viewers. Actually, the UK viewers are metric as well, I think. We've got a lot of different people <laughs> from different uh, different parts of the world watching. Yeah. Uh, I think he has a U wing, yeah. but it's not the fact that he's not using it makes me wonder if the U wing is there. I think maybe Peter might be on the counter mill plan. I'm not sure. He, he might have had enough of a slow start, but he, that he thinks that maybe he can beat Amanda to to the end of her deck. But uh, we'll see. Ah, Germany greetings, well, Jay right. from Germany. Yeah, we, we have uh, more international viewers. We're more like a. Uh, Non North American viewers in North American. Yeah. yeah, so it's 30 plus, 30 yeah. so degrees in here. And 30 plus. Ridiculously it's, humid. It's it's the humidity, really. It's like literally Dagobah Swamp in here. So, focus roll, two focus. Always happy to see that side with Padme. Um, of course, I mean, now that po, uh, sorry, Maz uh, on Amanda's side has resolved her side, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Now, only C-3PO was out, uh, Amanda could use that to focus side to something else, perhaps to discard, something like that. Wow, lots of international viewers. I think maybe some a part of it has to do with the fact that, like in Europe, it's like 7, 8 p.m. right now, yeah. on a Sunday evening, you know, you're done for the day, watching some Destiny before you go to bed. Hopefully, hopefully the North American viewers are all out there playing in store championships right now. Yeah. I know so, we do have uh, DJs from North Carolina. And I think you're, you're playing your first store championship next week, right, DJ? Yeah, good luck to you, man. So there's that uh, U-Wing that uh, I think Discreet said was in Peter's hand. Throws that at Amanda's team, so that's two damage to each of Amanda's characters. Uh, still, things are looking pretty good for Amanda. Uh, she has yet to... Put a second chance on somebody, but so like Maz is almost dead there. That's uh, seven damage out of eight. Uh, did she miss the shield there? Uh, yeah, she did. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go correct that. So focuses those dice. Victor went over and helped it. Um. So goes to discard side. Uh, doesn't change the other side. Okay, that's gonna be half an hour. Um, sorry, we uh, we're busy answering questions, so miss what happened there. Discard. So that was a claim, right? By uh, yeah. So that should be on Peter's side, but we know that uh, Peter has a battlefield. No, no. Peter couldn't claim. He didn't have a resource. Oh. So it was it was a claim from Amanda again. 
Oh, sorry, I, I miss I miss uh, interpreted that. I thought that was her resolving the discard side. So. Uh, uh, last week we had an X-Wing store championship, and we had a table microphone there, and that made things a lot easier for us to follow, because we actually hear what was going on at the table, so we apologize if there's some um, misinterpretation of the screen we got going on, um, plus it's kind of noisy here right now, but uh, hopefully we're following close enough for you guys, and the uh, guys in the chat, uh, guys and girls in the chat, uh, obviously you guys are much more keen and on the ball, so if we miss Brutal. anything, we appreciate Mad rolls in, two disrupt, oh, sorry, sorry. You're gonna do the discard. Yep, and there's the uh, Spinet Focus, man. I love Spinet. I, I had Spinet originally. Oh, and that's the three mil now, jeez. I'm, I'm torn there. I probably would've done I would've been tempted to go for the disrupt. Yeah. Just because that's potentially another command center that you're gonna be able to use. I mean, uh, Amanda could just claim as her next action because I see. I think I see two cards in the uh, in the discard pile there. Might, uh, might, as well try to get, might as well try to get a Padme out. Yeah, I mean, you got to hope to fade uh, the fact that Peter doesn't have a lot of uh, throwable cards in his hand anymore. But uh, he rolled out Maz first. That's very interesting. Yeah. Okay. So throwing a rocket launcher using. Focus into Cunning Special to, to kill off Maz there, but yeah. Or, or maybe he's thinking about dealing two to each or two of his opponent's characters. It doesn't. Yeah, so now he's just explaining how this is working. Uh, he still needs to pay one, and it looks like two damage to each of the characters, which is smart because not only does it kill Maz, it piles more damage on the other characters. Uh, but that's also one more throwable item out of Peter's hand. Uh, still, Amanda in this game uh, just has to get rid of the rest of the cards in Peter's hand here. And yeah, that's two damage on each of Amanda's characters. So, yeah, it's down to, down to two upgrade-less characters on Amanda's side. Rolling out the snap, we see a one disrupt and a two disrupt. Uh, Peter might might just claim here, just try to get under that that disrupt side. Of course, uh, Peter is showing two resources there, so tough. I'm not sure what Peter Peter's trying to decide what to do here. Oh, it looks like four cards actually. So sorry, I was mistaken. It's four cards in the hand. Yeah, uh, discreet. Amanda's been playing this deck for about a month now, and uh, when I was playing against her uh, back at the pre-release. Uh, she was a very formidable opponent, so I can only imagine she's gotten better since then. And and like I said at the beginning of this match, I think this is a sleeper deck. I think it has the, the hit points, the the annoying uh, second chance ammo belt combo, uh, and it can endure an onslaught by this planetary uprising pull master. I mean, sometimes you get unlucky, sometimes they, they roll perfect round one and they smear your entire team, but uh, usually variance is on your side. And you can mill a lot of the powerful cards from their deck, and it it, 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 give, it forces the the home as player to make a lot of tough decisions. Yeah. So I see a scout in her hand. So I think we're still on Peter's action. He's deciding what to do. Maybe he's trying to map out if he can actually kill uh, kill Amanda with what he's got in his hand. Not sure if I see anything. It might there might be a launch bay there, but now he's looking through his discard, uh, just trying to verify exactly what he has in his discard pile. See if there's anything left in his draw deck, perhaps that he can draw and throw at uh, at Amanda's character. So now, yeah, yeah. So he's got he's a healing in there. Uh, I I don't think he's gone through both. Um, I don't think he's gone through both of his rocket launchers okay. yet. But he hits and runs here, which makes me think that he has something. But maybe it's just hit and run into a claim. I see. I think he just wants to get to claim first because he yeah. figures he, need, he needs to win on next turn regardless. Yeah, so that's, uh, I mean, no special side, but again, I don't think we see anything in Peter's hand that's worth throwing there. So now he's deciding what to do with his second action. And. Uh, yeah, th things are looking decent for Amanda still. Uh, I, I still she, think it's a real option, real thought he might actually just um, play him still. So. Yeah, I, I think Amanda, if she does indeed have a second chance or hopes to draw one, just like make sure you have three resources and just get that 
Oh, jeez. Okay, so he gets four resources here that makes him able to claim even, <clears throat> even through uh, Snap's disruption here. But maybe you just claim here as Amanda. Just instead, she decides to roll it out. Maybe not. Yes, gets a blank. And I think this is this is where Peter just snaps off the claim. Snaps off the claim. Mills his two cards. Just hopes to get something big next turn. Planetary uprising. So I think Amanda, Amanda should should be should claim here. No, no, she just disrupts the money away. Oh, that's true. Yeah, because now he just has disrupts. So he yeah. can't claim now. He'll disrupt back. Smart, sure. Disrupt back. Yep. Yeah. And now maybe Amanda is going to want to fish for uh, Padme special. She might as well. Yeah. Oh, no, oh she decides to claim instead. Eh, it might. The cards in her hand might be useful, and that's huge. That's a Ewing and a Millennium Falcon. He's, yeah, he just drew his last two cards in his hand. He drew his last two cards in his hand. And now I think uh, Peter has what? Four cards in his hand? That's it? Uh, yeah, four yeah. cards. So all Amanda has to do is fade this next thing. I think that's a lot cat and mouse, perhaps, in, uh, in Amanda's hand. Yeah. So she's looking through her discard pile, perhaps. Uh, uh, looks like a Rebel in her hand, Electroshock. Hard to tell with the last two cards. Don't look like a second chance. Oh, well, she spends three words. This is it can only mean one thing, and there it is, second chance. Might as well play this safe. Yep. So that's, uh, unless Peter pulls off some kind of claim miracle here. Uh, rolls. That's it. that's it for Snap. Yeah, so Snap is dead, but it doesn't matter. I mean, it, it does. kind of does matter because now Peter discard, can play. Actual yeah. discards, and she's not necessarily set up well for that purpose. Yeah. So yeah, Amanda, I think is she has an ammo belt in her in her hand as well. So as long as she's able to get one resource, she can just throw that on as well. And I don't know if there's a lot that that Peter can do at that point. I mean. Okay, and then there's one discard. I think maybe you just, as Amanda, you just claim because I can't, I can't think, I can't believe that she, uh, Peter has anything huge left in his deck. So there's a rebel gone. Amanda rolling out. Uh, two focus, fortunately, does nothing except for the spy net, which also does nothing. <laughs> And there's a range side. Now, that's what Peter actually needs at this point. Just needs to, to find those range sides, both on the DL something, whatever that thing is called. That blaster Maz is carrying and uh, both opposed dice here. But, I mean, it's it's good for Amanda if Peter discards to reroll. Uh, yeah. Because that's one less card in Peter's hand. So maybe you just claim, prevent that those planetary uprising from going off. Yeah, there, there are those two focuses there, but... Not sure if there's anything else uh, that really Peter, uh, sorry, Amanda can no, do with that. Focus. I, I think Amanda has to try to claim here soon <laughs> the, and the, avoid taking yeah, that four damage. The, the only four. useful sides on Padme right now are her discard side and her resource side. <coughs> Excuse me. And I don't know if you want to keep discarding cards on your own to chase one of those two sides I'm, because unfortunately I feel like she really needed to try to mill those last two cards in his deck last turn so he only, yeah. he only had to get rid of make him discard two now it could just have been something she missed she was like you know gotta claim gotta claim gotta make sure I don't take four damage from planetary uprising but uh, that is going to be six damage at Padme not enough to, to throw the second no. chance off quite yet <laughs> But you do know that Peter is going to do that, so you have at least one more action. But just keep in mind, even with her discarding and, and making uh, her reroll, she's re not going to have the time to also spend the action. So I think if I was in her spot, it looks like she passed, perhaps. Yeah. So passes. Padme takes six. She now has two HP left, and I think Amaz just claims it. Yeah. <laughs> So now, not sure what they're discussing. They're, just, they're discussing whether it's two separate instances uh, of damage or not. So I think it, it is. would be. So it would be two, 
that would kill her, and then it would deal another two. Would that kill her and trigger the second chance? Yeah. Then it would deal another two. So I think Amanda, if she doesn't have a. She's there. No. So our judge, uh, I think there's a judge. Oh, they're going to ask the judge, but. Yeah. yeah, so our Marshal Shane is there, I think, clarifying that question. Um, whether or not it's two separate instances, so we're going to figure that out in a second. And I think I think I, it is two separate instances of, of damage. Yes, it would be. So I think Amanda's play here is she, she has an ammo belt, she throws it on right now. Give herself five extra HP, but doesn't... And no, she goes for the scout yeah. instead. I don't think she had an ammo belt. She must not. No. That's fine still. I mean, as long as you get the cards out of her hand, uh, out of Peter's hand. But she can still, what, do three cards at most? Yeah. Or two cards. Okay, so there's a focus, okay. resource, blank. Uh, Peter might focus, might just hold off on the focus there uh, for pose dice. And here's three damage at Padme, so second chance falls off. Five health left, and I don't think he's going to resolve anything else. So now, actually, um, momentum's in Peter's favor, because all now he has to do is resolve one more range damage, there it is, and then claim, and then Padme is dead, unless she has, sorry, unless Amanda has a... Um, a Electroshock, I think, is what I saw to get rid of that. Uh, she does have an electroshock. Die. Yeah. But I mean, that's just a holding action at this point. Yeah. Now, I, I can't tell. Do you know how many cards Peter has in his hand? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, well, focus does nothing, but there's that scout special. And it looks like there's four cards in Peter's hand. So, still quite a ways to go with the mill here. And uh, this, this has been a traditional difficulty of, of many mill decks. I mean, you, you've milled the deck out, but now you have to get rid of the, the cards in the player's hand. Yeah. Um, generally, villain mill is better at getting rid of cards in players' hands, and heroes better at getting rid of cards from the decks. Uh, so that's why you see this, uh, this sort of thing happening here. But Okay, so <clears throat> that's a uh, resolution of Scout, but I think that means that Amanda loses if Peter claims her, right? Yes, I think he just claims her. So. Yeah, so claim and deal four, and I don't know if she sees that yet, and there's the handshake. Okay, so congratulations to Peter, but well fought.